On the slopes of Haleakala on the island of Maui, I find the man who was once one of the most well-known voices of Hawaii. Whee! Once a well-known radio personality, Frank B. Shainer is now pushing paint. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I'm honored to be here, my brother. Man, you are my hero. Well, I remember back in the day, when me and Brick, uh, Brickwood, we were doing the morning radio show, and, and uh, Patrick would come up every once in a while and talk about his rodeo. He was his rodeo clown. And we didn't, I didn't realize he was a, a, a fine artist. We were just talking about his rodeo and getting hit by bulls and everything, and then I realized I saw his work one day, and my God, it was the most amazing thing. We met, I took a class from Brother um, in Waimanalo. It was very cool, man. I never forgot those those days and uh, I, I try to apply it today. I asked Frank how he went from being a major radio guy to being a non-stop contemporary artist. I want to tell you how all of this started because I wasn't a painter. I, I never, uh, uh, you know, pursued it. Actually, painting pursued me, which is very bizarre. Uh, I know exactly the day it happened. So I was doing the radio show with Brickwood and I in the morning Hawaiian 105 and uh, it was 9-11, man. And people were jumping out of buildings. The, the buildings are coming down. Oh, it, was, it was horrible. After that show, I got in my car. I'm driving around. I'm cuckoo already. So I, uh, I, I, I end up pulling into Hawaiian graphics. I, I started binding canvas and paint and having paint brushes. I took them back to my apartment, sat down. And that's when Frank began to teach himself to paint. But that's basically what it is, man. I just throw it on there and, and I play with the brush. So all of, all of a sudden, yeah, something clicked. And uh, uh, I really didn't know what the heck it was. It's, it's God sent. I have no idea. He just, boom, sent this to me. Now I got to deal with it. I mean, it's, it shakes you all, all the way through your body. Once you realize you're onto something, then you can't sleep. You think about it all the time. You get up in the morning, boom, you're in the studio sitting there and sometimes I sit for hours just looking at the painting uh, and it'll start to talk to you. Oh Frankie, kind of getting too much pain bro. No, 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 I'm telling you man, the, the, the canvas will start to talk to you. And this door here just sort of uh, all of a sudden ended up there because I had this thought about uh, the door being the, the past, the present and the future, right? So you have to go through the door to find out what the future is. A lot of people don't go through that door. I mean, even when they're here on the physically here, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, go ahead, see, see what happens. And, uh, uh, and this piece here is just uh, from 1969, you know, too much acid. So I tell you, man, now I, I just love painting in the mornings. There's a lot of birds. So they would all fly into the studio. Uh, I had this, this pheasant for four years would walk into the studio and eat out of my hand. And uh, so he hasn't been around in a while. I think he got kicked out up there from a younger uh, pheasant. And he's, he's never been back. I'm very sad about it. His name was Big Boy. Guitars, man, I love guitars. I love musicians. I don't play, but I love the curves of a guitar, very sexy. And uh, I've been having fun at it. This is all wood, right? All jigsaw. The thing is, is that nothing is really planned until something happens. And then all of a sudden, Joo, that's the plan. <laughs> then, you, then you start following it, right? This is all wood. And it's all just carved and pasted and, then glued and painted. So, it, and there's never a formula here. Well, these, this is uh, when, it, when I came back from Egypt. And that was such an amazing journey. That was the pyramids to art, just looking at art everywhere. And I saw uh, these uh, Egyptian women who had power. And this piece is just jazz, man, jazz. Give me that, I love jazz when I'm painting and just hanging out in the studio. I have jazz going on all the time. It's spiritual, it is, it's all spiritual, man. That's, that's the whole gift. If you want to know about this guy, Vincent van Gogh, then go. Uh, read uh, Letters to Theo. He wrote uh, feverishly to his brother Theo, and, uh, and he wrote all how he felt about art, what's happening.
happening to him at the time, where he's at, what he's thinking about, and you realize that he's not crazy. This guy was a genius. The, the, the song Vincent, Don McLean, right? Now I think I know what you tried to say to me, how you suffered, I get choked up for you, how you suffered for your sanity, how you tried to set them free. They would not listen. They're not listening still. Perhaps they never will. Whew. Now this is uh, my interpretation. If Vincent came to Hawaii, okay? So here he is. <laughs> starry, starry night over uh, Diamond Head. As you can see, Frank B. Shaner is a man of many talents. And you can be assured that whatever he's creating, he'll be doing it his way. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a, is a Na Hoku Hano Hano Award. And it was for Comedy Album of the Year, The Adventures of Le Momi. There's about 17 voices in this one that I lay down. And uh, this, is, this is her and Big Mac Kanak. Le Momi and Big Mac Kanak, man. <gasps> Big Mac, you big monster, get over here. Give me a kiss, honey, honey. Oh, no, baby, you know, right now I gotta, you know, I just have to uh, stay focused. You know, I gotta go up the ranch and we'll get some cattle. Th this, this is the, the, one of the first pieces I did that started to make sense and things started to come around. I was hitting, painting and so forth and just throwing stuff around. And all of a sudden this started to emerge. And so I just went with it, just green, blue, throw the a little bit yellow under his opal area, bang with the fin, skimming through the water. How do you paint? Do you think it'll make you insane? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. But you know, insanity is not a bad thing. Uh, because if, if you can work with that insanity and, and create a, a canvas with that energy, I mean, that insanity energy is fantastic. Uh, you know, there's somebody asked me, hey, Frank, you're an artist. I says, well, uh, well, uh, gee, boy, artist, what is that? One of the, the, the big events, it's kind of a little game changer, is that I had this solo show at this hair salon. Uh, it was quite a success. It was the first time that really made, oh, gee, I think I might have something here going after so many years at it. So it made me feel good. I, w I like it. I like to walk behind people while they're looking at my work and listen to what the kind of conversations they're having. You know, the the art sits there for you to react to it, right? Negatively, positively, in betweenatively, whatever that works, right? That's the great thing about art, is that no matter what condition you are, uh, art says, "Hey, come on, let's go." So just don't worry about it. Just do art for yourself. That's what I do. Uh, then this, this gal one time, she's, after the radio, she says, hey, Frankie Bill, what you doing now? I says, well, I, I'm a painter. What, houses? So I says, I realize now that it's gonna be a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> well, every year uh, up here, uh, it's the Maui Open Studio with all the people who push paint, artists, uh, in various communities around Maui. We open up our doors, people come through, they walk through the studio and the grounds and so forth, they you know, check everything out. And uh, we've had some real nice success up here actually. I'm real happy with it. And you can see a lot of my work at Ala Moana Asagios and uh, the one out in Kahala Asagios. Or you can check out my website at frankbshanerart.com.